Let's check out the Avengers number 36, Moon Knight vs. the Black Panther, The Fist of Kanchu, Part 4. Where we last left off, Kanchu was being attacked by a wave of Mephistos, and Mephisto pretty much wanted to get revenge on Kanchu for killing him. The Avengers take on a gang of Kanchu's minions to save their captive comrades. Moon Knight, with the spirit of vengeance, decide to attack Captain Marvel and Iron Man to get the Star Brand Child. Him and Iron Man get into it. He tells Iron Man one word that makes Iron Man shook. The Black Panther manages to escape captivity from Kanchu, and now it's him and Kanchu, and it's about to go down. We start the story off where you see Moon Knight contemplating about all the bullshit he did to the Avengers to acquire the power to fight Mephisto. Kanchu ain't telling him nothing and he hears a voice in the distance telling him that you're praying to the wrong god. He was like who said that? Oh snap, don't I know you from somewhere? He was like hey man aren't you Nick Fury? He's like nah bro, I'm the unseen, Nick Fury is long gone. Let me give you a brief explanation about the unseen Nick Fury. We got two Nick Furies. We got the 616 Nick Fury and we got the Ultimate Universe Nick Fury. Most people know the race swap Nick Fury from this. Who the hell are you? Nick Fury, Director of S.H.I.E.L.D. Huh. I'm here to talk to you about the Avenger Initiative. So the 616 Nick Fury ends up blowing Watu the Watcher's head off to steal his eyeballs to get some type of information. But Watu's homies have some beef with uh, Nick Fury. Some explosion happened and uh, Nick Fury's pretty much stuck on the moon in chains. He's called the unseen. He sees shit and can't do shit pretty much. All right, getting back to the comic. The Black Panther ends up confronting Kanchu and he tells Kanchu to put his weapons down or he's gonna fuck him up. Kanchu pretty much tells the Black Panther, hey bro, I'm not the enemy here. The real enemy is Mephisto here. Look how many bodies I just piled up. The Black Panther is pretty much saying you stole everybody's powers and weapons. These powers and weapons you weren't meant to wield, you're weakening our defenses. And Kanchu is saying, I heard enough of this. Fuck this shit and throws the hammer at the Black Panther. And Mjolnir misses the Black Panther completely. So Kanchu's like, what the hell? And surprise, surprise. Another person that can control Thor's hammer. Basically the original Black Panther wielded Mjolnir so it runs in the Black Panther's bloodline. So this is crazy. Kanchu's trying to bring the hammer back. He can't because... Black Panther has the power over Thor's hammer, so he stole the hammer from Kanchu. So Moon Knight shows up out of nowhere to pretty much save Kanchu because he thinks the Black Panther is Mephisto in some type of disguise. So Kanchu's like, thank God this moron Moon Knight is here to save me. Let me get all the powers, let me get all my shit. Let Moon Knight kill the Black Panther for me. So Kanchu basically goes after the Star Brand Child because that's the last power he needs to defeat Mephisto. So Moon Knight and the Black Panther trade blows. So as the fight goes on, Moon Knight had referred to the Black Panther as Mephisto. The Black Panther told Moon Knight that you're fucking crazy, man. We have the best psychiatrist in Wakanda. If you need help, man, yo, just hit me up. So basically, the Black Panther pretty much knocks the stuffing out of Moon Knight. So Moon Knight pretty much tells the Black Panther he believed he wasn't Mephisto a few punches ago. So the Black Panther was like, why waste my time? Kanchu's going after the Star Brand Child. And Moon Knight replies, I gotta pray until it hurts and punches the Black Panther in the chest. So we catch up with Iron Man and Captain Marvel and the Star Brand Child and they're trying to get as far away from Earth as they can to get away from Kanchu. Kanchu catches up with Iron Man, wraps him around some fiery chains. Kanchu is now using the spirit of vengeance and calling himself the God of Vengeance. So the Black Panther pretty much demolishes Moon Knight, finishes him, washes him up. So the Black Panther tells Moon Knight to stay down, I don't have to body you. So Moon Knight was like, no, you're gonna finish this. The Black Panther was like, fuck you, bro. You wanna commit suicide? I'm not gonna be your tool to do it. 
So Moon Knight pretty much knocks himself out. This guy is crazy. So we go back to Iron Man and Captain Marvel. The star brand child is dragging Captain Marvel somewhere. And then Tony Stark sees something and he wants to know what the hell is that doing here. And then we see Moon Knight that says amen and some fire approaches him. And if Moon Knight wasn't Omega a level enough, now he becomes the new Phoenix. Crazy. I really enjoyed this comic man, the ending was crazy how Moon Knight has the power of the Phoenix. If you're a Moon Knight fan, you need to be reading the series The Age of Conchu for the Avengers, you will love it. If you like my content, rate, comment, subscribe, take it easy, later.